guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Samantha here. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I am super excited for today's video because today's video, today is the day that Harry goes off to war and he moves to the military base to start his training. So I hope you guys saw the last episode. It was the introduction to the 1910s. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I will link it up above so you guys can catch up. Um, but in that episode, Harry did make the decision to join the military to help protect his family and his town. So it's really scary, super nerve wracking, but also a choice he felt that he had to make. So we're going to be following along on that journey today. So if you guys are excited, please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe. I would love to have you guys join the family here and hang out with us. And with all of that being said, you guys, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so we are joining the household here with the little family. This is just after the storm of last night and the just after, uh, bring Harry, just after Harry has announced to his family that he will be joining the military career. So in today's episode, we also have to age up the toddlers and little Nelly. Did you think I forgot about your birthday, Harry? Oh, it, it says it's his birthday just because I had to age them all up into young adults, even though they're going to be forever. But it looks like Gianni has come over to make him a cake. That is super sweet. Look at that. Gianni came over to be like, hey, bro. That is so nice. We should let these two get along. Maybe Harry can talk to Gianni. Oh, that's awkward. So dad has walked out to see Gianni here and that him and Harry actually get along really well. So that's very surprising. We should have Harry try to get to know um, Gianni a little bit better. And here comes Emma also, but she's walking confidently to the toilet. <laughs> Ooh, and another storm has arrived. It is 6.52 at night. Our horses are inside safe, so that is good. We don't have to worry about our little animals. How is our garden doing? Well, it's going to have to wait until the morning because nobody should go outside. Because if you guys remember, somebody, not naming any names, got a hit by electricity. We should have this little one practice her piano. I wonder if mom would be able to tutor. So all of these guys are just really celebrating and having a great time. Um, Emma's having a couple drinks. I want her to do an, em I want her to embrace Gianni. Aww, look at these two. So Gianni's kind of like, I don't care what your dad thinks. I'm going to show you how I feel anyways. But I think it's more Emma doesn't care. I think Gianni might almost want to be a little bit more standoffish since his last encounter with her dad. Um, but I don't think she cares if I'm being completely honest. I think she's she doesn't know about him wanting to marry her. But she doesn't know that dad and Gianni had a little of a falling out so she's like having a couple drinks she's a young adult now she's just laying it on thick with Gianni and Gianni's like oh this is really great this is what I actually want but I have to be careful and a toddler is just wandering inside from the outdoors and we're like whatever about it she has to pee okay you go pee so they're kind of all celebrating this would be the last gathering I would say before um Harry goes off to the military so it's kind of nice to see that he gets to hang out with his brother and his sister uh, i think charles is probably feeling pretty low about it he's probably a little sad about it but at the same time knows that it's necessary so it's good that charles gets to be here yeah so it's nice actually that gianni has come to see off um to see off harry before then and spend some time um gianni would not say anything to emma about her father, um, even though I'm sure he really wants to. Gianni will not be going off to war because Gianni is the politician's son and he needs to stay and help 
make the town feel good and help his dad on his mission to spread positivity and basically try to keep the truth under wraps about the war because that's what politicians do. <laughs> I have to go feed my cow plant. I will see you later. <gasps> so you're telling me that all the cow plant deaths that happened in the military is actually a government conspiracy? <gasps> Ooh, now that's interesting. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure it's not, but that's okay. So I'm gonna send the rest of the kids to sleep. Look, the whole house is sleeping. It's a miracle. We will catch back up with him in the morning. Work for Harry starts in about one hour. What would you like him to do? Obviously go to work. So let's quickly get everyone awake. Oh, look, he's feeling really stressed. I think he's so scared about his first day going to the military. Mom and dad, everyone is awake for him. Aw, his mom is playing some music for him. And let's get dad to come give him a hug. So everyone's saying goodbye to Harry. I think out of everyone, it would be Emma who is the most heartbroken over this. I mean, obviously his parents love him, but I think Emma is more upset in the sense that she's mad that a war is happening at all. So dad is saying goodbye. Oh, mom looks sad. He's off to work. Okay, so we are going to change households for Harry and into the base where he is going to be living for the foreseeable future. So for now, we are moving Harry out of the Dempsey household and he is moving into the army base. So he is there with a few people. We will be adding some people, so don't worry about that. Um, and I think his parents would give him, you know what, there's a lot of money on the base. He's working, he'll make money there. So Harry is no longer at home, which is so sad. And let's go check out Harry, shall we? Okay, so we have joined the household. Um, Harry is at work right now, so I'm just gonna have him socialize with coworkers. But while we're here, I want to show you guys the base. So this is the base where all of the character, um, all of our sims will be serving their military time this is where they will be doing their boot camp and everything like that over here we have one of the rooms where they will be able to sleep then we also have the huge cafeteria then we have the second place where they sleep we have a bar which is awesome on the base. That makes me so happy. This is honestly one of the coolest builds I think I have ever seen. Then over here, this is where the captain, their sergeant lives, which is so cool. I can't believe how neat this is. The communal showers. Then downstairs, we have the secret spy room and we also have the hospital wing. And down here is where I'm gonna put the cow plant for us. So Corinne is the first person who lives on the base. You guys know Corinne. She was living with Sarah in the in their household when she got married to Scott. Corinne has been best friends with Sarah for a long time. And if you remember in that one, I announced that I need her to call everyone to meal. That she was a chef and that that is what she wanted to pursue for a career. But when the army broke out. Corinne volunteered her time to become the base's uh, regular local chef. She wanted to do her part. She doesn't have a family. She is still a single woman and she didn't feel that she had any other responsibilities that she needed to attend to. So she felt like it was the right thing to do um, to help her to do her part. Um, then here's Harry. He has joined. He is eating some food. Obviously, we have Daniel who has come to the base. We have Mitchell. Julianne Silverman, she is the local doctor on the base. She will be the one who is mainly responsible for all of the medical care. We have Marshall Mathis. He is the main marshal on the base and he will be the one who is going to conduct all of the training with the soldiers. So the marshal is training the young men how to fight in combat. 
So he is currently training them how to fight. So we see Harry is there training. We see Daniel doing it. Uh, I'm not sure how well Daniel's going to do. He looks kind of like he's slapping like a girl right now, but so does Harry. <laughs> Uh, so the marshal is watching over them. What is Mitchell doing? Because I told him, oh, he went to the bathroom. He's going to get in trouble. Okay, go practice your sparring. So this is where Harry is going to be spending his time training, practicing, and all of that. I am super excited to share with you guys Corinne's side story, which should come out in a few weeks here. I'm not 100% sure when I plan on filming it, but I just want you guys to know that that is coming and make sure you stay tuned. So the guys have been training super hard all day. Daniel and him get to have a little bit of downtime. So Daniel is hanging out with Harry. I think Daniel would ask about Emma and see if um, Harry has any information and I think Harry would be honest I think he's a pretty straightforward guy and he would just say well you know I know you've always had feelings for my sister like you know I really appreciate that but I'm pretty sure she's seeing Gianni now so I just want to let you know so I think that that makes Daniel a little bit sad but also the two of them haven't been really close lately. Daniel really had a thing for Emma growing up, but it never turned into anything. And I think Daniel, because he was new to the town, he didn't have a chance to get to know a lot of people. And so Emma really made him feel welcomed. So I think that even though he really cares for Emma, I think that his feelings for her are more a sense of familiarity than true love. And I think that Daniel is going to be able to come with to terms with that over time. Like, I don't think, especially once he goes through the war, you know, I don't know if he will come out of it the same man that he was when he went in. And I think the same for Harry also. So I think both of them were, will definitely come out, you know, feeling a little bit different. So I'm going to have uh, her call to meal. She can call every. So everyone is going to go eat their dinner. They've hired a mixologist, so hopefully um, after their dinner, they'll be able to go have a couple drinks at the bar. They're all having their dinner together. Oh, Harry's gotten his food, so that's good. I don't know if this little lady ate, but she doesn't seem very hungry. Mitchell's gone to sleep right away. After he's done eating, I will let Daniel, or I will let Harry get himself a beer as well. Sorry, a barley. Oh, he's thinking about Edward. He misses his family already. He is not a, he's not made for the army. <laughs> Poor Harry. He just wants to be at home taking care of his farm. But it's sweet that he wants to help his family. So, unfortunately... Tonight is Harry's watch, so after his meal, he will have to come all the way up here and stay on the watchtower to watch the camp. However, I forgot to quickly show you guys who made this amazing build. The hospital rooms were made separately and I just doubled it up to make like a wing. So this is created by Lena3 on the gallery and I absolutely love it. And it's like a hospital room that could look like it was from years ago, which I really like. So make sure you check out Lena3 if you guys are interested in that. And then the actual army base. So it says by Cut Me Kitty, but the original is by E Hot. 58 so I'm not sure if maybe e hope 58 was the one who created it originally But I did download it off of this cut me kitty page So Harry is heading to the top of his tower to do his watch for the night because it is his turn But fortunately it He can do some painting because his mom was a painter He's drunk so I really don't think he should be on the top of the tower <laughs> Um, water shutoff day has now ended, so we will be able to get Harry to have a shower soon, which is nice. So, unfortunately, he's on watch right now. I'm gonna have him sneak downstairs and take a shower. And look, while he is taking a shower, he's supposed to be on watch, and there is a something out here <laughs> that he 
that was trying to get into the gates, and he's just over here, rub dub, I'm in my tub. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> Good job, Harry. Good job. And we are gonna leave Harry here to be on the base learning how to become a proper soldier to protect his family. Okay, so we are back home. It is really late. I am going to get everyone to go to sleep. I'm sure um, Charles is feeling a little bit lonely now that his older brother is gone because, you know, he always had him. Now he's sharing the room with two little kids and he's probably feeling kind of like alone in all of this because he doesn't really have someone that understands him he probably feels like although him and harry never were really close to be honest so now that harry is gone it's going to be up to daniel to take care of the farm and he is not very good at that if we're being completely honest so it's going to be hard for him i don't know if he's ever gardened a day in his life yeah, he just acquired the gardening skills, so <laughs> it'll be interesting to see. But he is definitely not going to not try just because he's not good at it. He is a very determined guy, and he is very dedicated to his family. So today's Harvest Fest. This will be the first Harvest Fest that the family will spend away from Harry. So I think we're going to do a quiet event tonight. I think most of the families are feeling... Pretty sad that their loved ones are away so they probably want to hang out with each other rather than with their friends right now they're probably just trying to deal with the fact that their loved ones gone level of student is little Nellie Nellie is doing just okay in school I don't blame her she's been dealing with a lot in the family her brother's gone off to war they have so many kids she probably hasn't had a great opportunity to really focus on being in school and I think the parents also don't feel like it's really super necessary for her to do well because obviously they can't afford well now they could afford to send her to school so maybe that's what we'll do we'll maybe have her I think both of them Nellie and Charles could go to high school because the family is a little bit well better off. They will be getting the income from Harry being in, in uh, the army and Charles really wants to be a doctor so I think the parents would for sure consider uh, putting him through school. Uh, which I'm sure makes Emma feel absolutely horrible but at the same time she understands that it was just what the family was capable of at the time. So I'm going to have her write a book. I think she's feeling a lot of feelings about the upcoming war. And I think with her brother leaving and Daniel leaving, she's just feeling a lot of emotions. So I am going to have her read her book or write a book. So let's say, so she's going to write a book called The Impact of World War I. And she, the description of it is how the beginning of the war impacted my town and family by Emma Dempsey. Has come out here to assist her little sister with her project. I think she's hoping that she'll be able to get to have the experiences in life that she feels like she's missed out on a little bit with not being able to go to school. So she really wants to encourage, look at everyone saying happy holidays to us. Nellie finished her school project. The quality was good so that's good we'll put that in there so it's nice to see them getting to spend some time together we should let them come over and swing together so I think that makes Nellie so happy to know that she gets to hang out with her sister and just spend some time together because they really haven't had an opportunity to really um, spend a lot of time together. So we'll add the birthday candles and we're gonna get this little miss to come over and blow them out and become a teenager. Finally, and she is going to high school so we'll have to take a thousand dollars away from them. Okay, so it says that she is cheerful. I'm gonna make Nellie um, more family as well. I don't think she wants to necessarily be a, you know, be a successful career woman. She is a lot cuter than her sister was, let me tell ya. <laughs> 
She looks so cute. Okay, so Edward, help blow out candles. You can ask Nelly. She aged up with red hair, interestingly enough. Dad's like, I'm having a BLT. I'm hungry. <laughs> So let's see what little Edward is going to look like all aged up into a little kid. He might look a lot like Charles. So he had the independent trait. Uh, let's see. What do we not have yet? I guess we could have him go down the music lover. And we will give him creativity. Sure. Oh, he looks like a really good mix between the two, I would say. Okay, so let's jump into create a sim and let's let these guys get a makeover. Wow, does she not look so much like Alice? She really does. Her face needs to be a bit bigger, but she's cute. Alrighty, you guys. So here is Nellie's makeover. This is her everyday look. She looks identical to her mom, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Is she not Alice's daughter? Like, holy crap. Through and through, I just love her. I think she is so pretty. Oh, it makes me so happy. This is her formal wear. This is her fitness. Honestly, I didn't even care about fitness. I just threw anything on because when are we ever getting our sims to work out? This is her sleepwear. Her party wear, look at these cool like Victorian earrings I've got for her with the matching necklace, beautiful yellow gown. Her swimwear, hot weather, and her cold weather. Oh my gosh, she is adorable. Did I copy Emma's cold weather? Let's check. Oh good, they look different. How adorable is Nellie? Nelly is going to be such a cool character to play with. I'm really excited. Um, off camera, I will go age up all their little friendos. Now, this is Edward Dempsey. I think he's going to be super cute, but I'm going to give his makeover in the next episode just because uh, I've been already filming for like three hours now. So we will definitely give him a new look at the beginning of next episode. Uh, but just wanted you guys to see what he looks like. He looks a lot more like... Um, Harry did as a kid than Charles did as a kid. So I think he's going to have more of Harry's features. But yeah, so there is our kids. We're going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new army base and meeting some of the characters that we are going to be playing with over there while we are playing with Harry. And I hope you guys like the makeovers that we gave Miss Nelly and Edward, of course, will be in the next episode. So yeah, I think that's everything I had to say for today. I hope you guys are all doing Doing well thanks again as always for watching I really appreciate it you guys and until next time I'm gonna say bye for now